MATSIM is a simulation model that captures two unique aspects of urban mobility, the travel behaviors of each individual inside a city's population and traffic propagation inside the system. With a high level of granularity, MATSIM is able to look at a variety of scenarios for things like modeling transportation demand, measuring system-wide impact of people's travel behavior, or how congestion on certain highways can impact the traffic along nearby facilities. My name is Joseph Chow. I am an Institute Associate Professor here at NYU in the Department of Civil and Urban Engineering. I'm also the uh, Deputy Director for C2 Smart Center. My name is Haggai Davis III. I'm a PhD candidate here at NYU. My interests are in autonomous vehicle policy. So we've done a lot of work with MATSIM so far here at NYU. The goal is to be able to reproduce how passengers are moving across the city through the subway, through buses, through cars, through taxis, through bicycles. All these different modes are captured inside the simulation. And we've since applied it to a couple of other developments, including bus network redesign, COVID impacts, looking at congestion pricing, and most recently, the impacts of uh, different urban delivery scenarios. The next step moving from passenger vehicles is into freight vehicles. And so what we are trying to do is help New York City DOT better understand how does freight traffic move by capturing a lot of these specifics that are unique to freight in order to see the intricacies and the nuances of this topic. And that will allow us to help get into policy modeling. We would be able to have that policy take place inside of our digital twin of the city and then very specifically describe what the impacts are. Another project that we're working on is modeling the Interborough Expressway. This is the new rail line that is going to make use of the rail right of way that exists uh, from Brooklyn into Queens. Who would benefit from this? How they would benefit from this? The impacts on the areas around them. These are the types of meaningful real world changes that we're trying to capture and be able to describe with this model. In the broader scope, we envision that this is just one out of many different simulators. Using the same architecture, we would build out different simulations in different cities across the U.S., across the world even. We're able to create what we're calling a network of living labs. Let's say one of our researchers develops a new feat dispatch algorithm and we wanted to see the effects of that algorithm on how people are traveling in different cities around the world. We can develop that as an extension and then apply it to each of those simulations in different cities and actually measure the impact. Having this kind of network of living labs lets us provide like a canvas to understand how technology impacts different communities. MATSIM was developed with researchers, public agencies, and private mobility providers in mind. For researchers, MATSIM provides a bridge to evaluate the potential impact of new innovations on mobility systems. For policymakers, MATSIM provides a standardized way to predict the efficacy of new policies, such as congestion pricing, prior to implementation. And finally, private mobility companies can use MATSIM to understand and communicate the impacts of their operations on communities.